Hi, Chris Simoff. I'm excited to live in Appleton, Wisconsin, and I want you to be excited to move here. So stay tuned for my video and 10 reasons why you should move here. And if you like my video, be sure to subscribe. Every Thursday, I put out new content. Hi, Chris Simoff with Keller Williams. I wanted to share why I think you should move to Appleton. 10 reasons why to move to Appleton. Number one, affordability. You can buy um, the median sales price of a house is $190,000. If you want to move to Minnesota, they're going to charge you $248,000. If you're going to move to Illinois, they're going to charge you $210,000 for the same house. For about $190,000, you're going to get to live in a three-bedroom, two-bath, two-car garage ranch. Not too bad. The average salary in the Fox Valley is $62,000. That's a comfortable living. To rent, let's say you don't want to buy. You want to rent. To rent a house in the Fox Valley, specifically Appleton, about $1,200 for a four bedroom house. A three bedroom, $1,100, two bedroom, $800, a one bedroom, $600. Pretty affordable, huh? We are 8% cheaper to live in Appleton than the rest of the state of Wisconsin. Another reason to move here. The largest employer in the valley is healthcare, whether it's Theta Care or affinity. Between the two of them, they comprise 11,700 jobs in the valley. Some great opportunities for healthcare workers. If you want to go out to eat in the valley, it's going to cost you about $10, $12 for lunch, about $3 for a beer. Where can you beat that? If you want to go out to eat at night, it's going to run you about 60 bucks for two people. That's pretty affordable. Our sales tax, reason enough alone, we're at five and a half percent you go to Minnesota, you're close to seven. You go to Illinois, they're gonna charge you for everything. Definitely over 6%, 6.25, and they'll nickel and dime you for everything else. Another reason. Number two, second reason to live here is commute to work lifestyle. Not that stressful, 10 minutes to get to work. We love our parades around here. We know how to enjoy ourselves. We have a parade for Flag Day, we have a Christmas parade around Thanksgiving. We have a Memorial Day parade. A local area in New London does a New Dublin parade for St. Pat's Day in the middle of winter. So we know how to party. Number three, beauty. Wisconsin alone has 15,000 lakes. You know, our buddies to the north, Minnesota, they have 11,000, just so you know. We have some great year-round activities to do. Um, yes, we have winter here, but we have spectacular summers too. In the summers, we have farmers markets. We have, you know, all kinds of biking trails, walking trails, just a lot of scenic things to do. We have Lake Winnebago, which is one of the largest inland lakes with all kinds of wreck activities that we can do there. We have the Fox River. We just have all kinds of great activities to do in the summer. Number four. Schools. We have some of the best schools in the area. We have all kinds of charter schools. We have great teachers that care about our students. We have a blue ribbon middle school. We have just phenomenal schools. Your kids are going to get a great education in the valley. Five, local music. We have a four day festival in August called the Mile of Music with over 70 different venues, 900 performances. Goes on for four days. And it's not just local talent, it's talent from all over the country. And it's all free. It's all free. Yes. Number six, our sporting team. We, we all know we have the Packers to the north of us, but locally we have the Timber Rattlers. The Timber Rattlers are an affiliate team with the Milwaukee Brewers. They're a great stadium where you can have a lot of family fun in the summer from like April to the end of August. You can go there and have an affordable night they have one $2 beers, um, $2 hot dogs and so forth during the week. The kids get to run the bases on Friday. They have fireworks every weekend. It's just a phenomenal family activity to go watch a baseball game in a really nice facility. Number seven, we just had some of the best facilities for athletes here. We have the Community First Champion Center, which is a 164,000 square foot facility. It has four full-size basketball courts, and then it also has a year-round ice skating rink and another seasonal ice rink for hockey. Hockey's big in Wisconsin. 
it's a great venue to showcase the talent of our local athletes, to host events, to bring in income for from the state to our, our local area. Just a great, great venue. We're so excited to have it. We also have the Fox Cities Exhibition Center, which is a great venue downtown, downtown Appleton, where people can come and have trade shows, do exhibits, and then it adjoins to one of our nicest parks, Jones Park, which is, you can walk out into it, and it has an outdoor concert venue. Just a really neat facility, and that's 17,000 square feet, and just a great facility to have in downtown Appleton. Eight. The Performing Arts Center that we have in downtown Appleton, we just hosted Hamilton. Just a great Broadway play that we were able to bring to the Valley. Yes, you don't have to go to Mass and you don't have to go to Chicago. You can live in Appleton and see a Broadway play. It's a great facility. And in addition to that, we have the Trout Museum of Art, which is downtown. And that lights up at night. It's just beautiful. It hosts art exhibits and it has hands-on activities and summer camps for the kids in the summer. And across the street from that, we have the Children's Museum, which has been a great facility in our community for years. There's arts and crafts projects, there's hands-on activities, there's, you know, we have all kinds of employers that continually contribute to it to keep it a really state-of-the-art facility. Number nine, our local parks. We have 29 parks in the city of Appleton alone. And then we have a county park in Grand Chute. And we have eight other parks. We have acres and acres of trails. You go 10 minutes, you got a 41 mile bike trail, the Wheel Wash Trail. Just all kinds of things to do as a family here. Um, just up the road, you can go cross country skiing in Grand Chute. And they have eight and a half miles of trails. And we're talking you know, wooded trails, really cool, really cool. So 29 parks, eight parks in Grand Chute. So we have over 30 parks in the area, all kinds of walking trails. We've become a very bike friendly area. Be sure to check out that. The 10th reason to move to Appleton is the people. In the Midwest, we are just very friendly and we enjoy each other's company. We look out for each other. We hang in there together. We're very positive. And we like living here in the shows. So come check out Appleton.